One of the first things we do on a project, and typically when we get our first cut of the drawings and specifications, is what we want to know is how much it's going to cost to build. That's why in this section, we're going to talk about how you can use ChatGPT for construction estimating. We're going to cover how you can use ChatGPT to help estimate construction costs. To begin with, we'll just quickly define estimating. So estimating is the process of accurately calculating the costs of building something. Why does estimating matter? Well, Project Management 101, and whenever we talk about feasibility studies, the central question we're always trying to answer, is a project going to deliver more value than it costs? The only way we can work out how much a project's gonna cost to deliver is to use estimating. We need to estimate the costs of completing the project. If we think a project is gonna cost less than the value it generates, then it definitely makes sense to proceed with the project. If it's not gonna deliver as much value as it's gonna cost, then the project doesn't make sense to do. Estimating also matters for several other reasons on construction projects. The first one is it helps us understand different options. So say we're managing the design of a project and we have to decide between installing multiple distribution boards on the street lighting or installing one distribution board. The central question we're gonna ask is which option is cheaper. If the single option is better, then we'll go with that. If the multiple distribution board option is cheaper, then we'll go with that. Again, the only way we can know the answer to that question is to estimate the cost. So estimating helps with assessing different options. The next one is construction projects always involve the transfer of risk and responsibility in fixed fee lump sum contracts. As a general contractor, we'll quote to a client to deliver works for a fixed fee. To do that effectively, we need to estimate the cost. We need to know how much we think it's going to cost us to deliver the project. And then finally, it helps inform investment decisions. So we look at the value delivered by a project compared to the cost. We estimate each of these. And we can determine whether a project is going to make sense to invest in. Let's now look at the estimating process. And then we're going to step through how ChatGVT can help in each of these defined stages. First is defining scope. We've already looked at how ChatGPT helps us to elaborate and define the project scope. The next one is calculating our direct costs. So from the scope, we've defined the activities we need to complete the project and allocating costs and resources to each of these. The second one is calculating our overhead and indirect costs before finally applying our profit and markup. And we're gonna look at how ChatGPT can help with each of these steps. We already looked at this in the project scope management section, but basically ChatGPT can be used to read and interpret project documentations, understand project specifications, then help us to elaborate and define scope by creating a work breakdown structure. In this example, I've asked ChatGPT again to create a work breakdown structure for our project, but I've specifically asked it to focus on the direct cost activity. So I wanted to exclude everything else that's not a specific direct cost activity, so a task we need to complete to complete the project scope. It's gone ahead and created this work breakdown structure. Once we've defined all these activities and created our work breakdown structure, ChatGPT can then be used to calculate the direct costs. So to calculate the costs of each of these activities, we can use it to help us determine what resources are required. We can use it to help us determine what costs can be assigned to each of these resources. We could use it to help us estimate reasonable productivities. So say for example, we we'll want to know a production rate for someone installing formwork. Well, ChatGPT can help us to work this out. And then we could just use ChatGPT, feed it the information it needs, and then get it to do all the calculations based on this information. So I've told ChatGPT the road's five kilometers long, three meters wide, and the formation is 400 mils deep. Based on this information and assuming the project's taking based in Melbourne, Australia, which would be important for calculating rates, I've then just asked it to go and calculate the cost. It's determined the volume of works, it's determined what activities are required to estimate the excavation, and it's applied reasonable resource rates. So it's $15 a meter cubed for excavation, $30 for soil disposal, 
It's factored in transportation costs, and it's come up with a direct cost of $330,000. For this, it's used basic meter cubed rates, but we could then go to ChatGPT and tell it we want a first principle self-perform rate based on a crew of a laborer, an operator, and a truck driver. We could give it rates for these different activities, and overall, we could tailor the estimate to exactly what we want. You can see the power of the calculation process in ChatGPT. In addition to calculating our direct costs, so the cost of completing the physical construction works, we can also use ChatGPT to calculate our indirect costs. So these are the costs of supervising and managing the works. So we could use ChatGPT to just calculate the indirect costs. We could use it to help determine appropriate supervision and management. For example, using the excavating example and looking at the project schedule, we could, the ChatGPT could help us determine how many project supervisors we need. And basically, we could use it to perform a range of different functions to help us work out the costs of supervising and managing the works. I've asked ChatGBT to make an overall estimate of total project direct costs and then put a markup on this to calculate indirect costs. So it's got the road construction activities, it's got the street lighting installation, it's got the guardrail installation, and it's gone and applied these direct costs to all of these different activities to help us to determine total project costs, to then apply to profit and markup to this, and it's helping us work out our indirect costs for the project based on these direct costs. Once we've calculated our direct costs and our indirect costs, we need to apply a markup. So ChatGPT can help us doing this by helping us identify and estimate risks. It can help us determine any contingency we need to hold. Then it could help us determine a reasonable profit margin to apply. So finally, I've just asked ChatGVT what's a reasonable markup to apply. And based on the direct and indirect costs, it's applied a markup to this. And we've calculated total project value. In my experience, the biggest challenges to estimating and how ChatGVT can help with these is first identifying scope. I've already spoken about the value of project scope management, but in my experience, scope is always missed when people are estimating. So ChatGVT can help us methodically work through the project to identify scope. Second thing, can help us come up with accurate rates and productivity. So when we're missing information or we need to make assumptions, assumptions like how much someone can trench their day, or how many poles they could install in a shift, we can use ChatGPT to help us get that information. Then finally, it can help us with putting the entire estimate together and making sure we're applying reasonable indirects, overheads, profit, and markup.